What's up fish catcher Jacoby viewers? We are out here on another beautiful day. We have a outgoing tide right now. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. It is cold. I'm covered up obviously from head to toe. It's a nice pretty day. We're about to get this bite started. Uh, I think we're gonna start off like we did the last video that y'all seen. I'm gonna start off with uh, some soft plastics. And I think it's supposed to get in like the 60s today. It's in the 30s right now. And if it, the sun is, looks like there's no clouds. So when the sun comes up about 12 o'clock, I might move back into some uh, real backwater stuff and throw the mirrodine around where the water should be really warm. And that should hopefully hold some big trout. We'll see. But either way, guys, stay tuned. It's your boy, Fish Catcher Jacoby. All right, guys, I think we're going to start off this day putting a little Procure Inshore Saltwater Super Gel, or what I like to say, some of that stank. I actually didn't even use any last time I came out because I'm almost out and I hadn't gotten any more yet. But we're going to start out putting a little stank on this lure. I should probably put a new lure on. <laughs> this is the same one that I used last time that uh, I'm still going to use the same lure, but I should probably put on this is that uh, Diesel Minnow Z by Z Man. This is the pinfish color. Right now we have a north wind and we have an outgoing tide. So this water should still be pretty clear. We haven't had any rain. So I'm gonna match what the fish would be eating. That would be little pinfish, uh, mullet if there's any left and some, uh, there's definitely bull minnows. And they're gonna match the color of the water. So that's what we're gonna do. There he is. There we go. I finally got a fish. <laughs> I got this drag real loose because I got this Uzuri on. I kept getting bites on the soft plastic. Oh, are we still on there? Oops, sorry for the cussing. I'll uh, edit that out. I thought this fish came off. I got my drag real loose. I'm not even sure if this is a nice... It actually feels like it might be a... a nice trout he's keeping his head down that is a nice fish but i got my drag real loose because they'll throw this usury real easily i started off using soft plastics this morning but uh they kept biting the end of the tail and just pulling it down and i don't think it oh dang that is a nice trout i don't think it had anything to do with the um I don't think it had anything to do with the cold. I mean, it's pretty cold, but the water should be in the high 50s, especially on the bottom. It's been cold for about three or four, five days now, but I mean, four, three, four, five, about five days now, but it hasn't been that cold. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful trout on that little Yozuri, dude. He might pop off, I don't know. But um, <clears throat> the water shouldn't be a problem yet. Look at that on the Yuzuri. That was like my second cast with this Yuzuri because I couldn't get nothing on soft plastics. He's probably right at 18 inches, I want to say. And I have to really not horse him with this Yuzuri because he will throw it. Oh, like that he will. Beautiful trout. We're going to try to get him in here really easily. Don't throw it, big boy. Okay, come on. Oh yeah, he's barely hooked. I just need him to turn his head. We'll get him in the net. Just like that. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Look at that on the Yuzuri. All right. That's what I'm talking about. We'll uh, take a picture with him real quick and get a measurement on him. Hang tight, guys. That is a great way to start out the day today, baby. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, that's a nice healthy fish right there, guys. So we actually caught that on the, oh, hold on. So we actually caught that on the Uzuri. I'd say this is probably an 18 inch fish. We'll get a, a quick measurement. 
Yeah, he's right at 18. He's like seven, he's a little over 17 and a three fourths. <clears throat> That's a nice, beautiful, healthy trout, man. Yeah, like I said, I got him on the Uzuri. Um, we started out with soft plastics this morning. Uh, like we did in the last video and i just i couldn't get i couldn't get any bites guys i mean no no i could get bites but they kept biting the end of the tail and they just kept you know running with it and pulling my tail so i switched that uzuri on oh he was ready to go so i switched that uzuri on let me show you real fast what i did to my uzuri here i put it in the last video but i never really tried it that much so all i did here guys this is a two and three, ow! Hooks are sharp. This is a two and three force uh, Uzuri suspend bait. And all I did guys, it only it only drops down to about three feet, you know? So what I did is I put a couple pinch weights on it to get it down to the bottom and I'm just working it really slow on the bottom, just like a soft plastic. I mean, they make lures out there uh, that sink really fast, you know, little soft, uh, you know, twitch baits, but I think uh, Mirror Lure makes some and they'll, they drop down to the bottom pretty fast and those, work great i just don't have any i need to get some i've been thinking about it and i always never get to it but either way guys yeah that uzuri is going to be on the 500 uh subscriber giveaway but either way guys we're about to catch some more fish stay tuned oh big trout just followed me all the way up dang that was a nice trout There he is. Don't know if this is a trout or not. Big trout just followed me all the way up to the boat. I was reeling it in. <laughs> not paying attention. Oh yeah, that's a trout. Oh, that's a nice trout. That's probably about a 14 inch trout. But a big one just followed me in, man. I was reeling it up. I was reeling it up thinking I wasn't gonna get no bites right here because I'm trying to figure out these fish the water I don't know the water is probably high 50s low 60s so these fish are semi active especially with the sun coming up now I mean that fish that I missed that followed me up to the boat he was moving he followed me all the way up, reeling it in pretty fast, too. So, I don't know. There he is. Some reason there's fish holding right here. Sounds like a nice fish. Maybe. Might be a nice one. Kind of fighting like a little red. Or it's just a nice speck. Let's see. What we got? We got a little red or we got a nice speck? Nah, it's just a nice speck. Or is he side hooked? He's staying down like he's a monster. Uh, he's not that big. Oh, that's a nice trout though. I mean, that's a, that's a 15 inch, oh, that's a 15 inch trout all day. So that would be a good keeper trout if I was keeping trout. But he was fighting so weird because I had him up underneath his uh, gill plate but he's fine that is a beautiful fish yeah that's definitely a keeper missouri man it is a weird bite i am not gonna lie i've found these little pocket of fish right here that's like the third one i've caught and i just can't get any bites anywhere else the only bad part about it the wind's really blowing me the way i don't want to go Oh, there's a fish. All right. Thought that was bottom. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see if we can't get this bad boy in. He don't feel very big. 
shaking his head like he thinks he's big. It's just because I can't fight with this dang one very much. What we got here? Little trout. Little bitty fella. Ooh, he's about to throw that hook. Actually, that's a little bit better than a little trout. That's about a, that's about a 16 inch fish. All right. We're catching some decent ones today. That's for sure. Look at that beautiful fish, man. That's about a 16 inch trout. A quick release. Still using that Yuzuri. Seems to be what's working. Soft plastics were not working. And I wanted to, so when I do, when I, soft plastics aren't working, I usually switch to uh, twitch baits and whatnot. And they'll usually get the job done. I mean, the water's a lot warmer in here, so I probably don't really need it on the bottom. But I'm just going to keep working this twitch bait really slow. Because, I mean, it's still a pretty cool back here. There he is. Look at that. <laughs> the slightest little bite on that fish, too, man. I didn't even realize he was hooked. He's barely hooked, too, I believe. Oh, yeah. Nice little trout. So that's more of your 14-inch trout. Cold fish. Weird bite today. I've done tried very many different places. Beautiful fish. We'll get him back in the water. I've tried very many different places today, but the Shuzuri seems to be triggering a bite. I could not get one with soft plastics. I mean, I could, but I was missing fish left and right. They were just pulling my tail down. So switching to Shuzuri kind of looks like it started to catch a reaction bite from these fish. Ooh, that was a good hit. Got it that time. <laughs> He's not very big. Ooh, we got side hooked. That could be what the problem is with my bait stealers right there. Look at that little bitty fella. Look at that. Dude, he is chunky though. That's probably a yearling fish from uh, last spring. I think they grow pretty, I believe they grow pretty fast um, the first year. There he is. <laughs> All I'm doing, guys, I'm just letting the wind push me. And I'm fishing these bends. And all I'm doing, look at that, he's fighting like he's a monster. All I'm doing is just letting it go all the way to the bottom. And I'm just giving it just a little taps. And that seems to be triggering a bite. But even though it's catching some fish, it seems like. This little spot's only got a bunch of small ones in it compared to where we've been catching nice ones here and there. I think I got about five. At least four had to be keepers. I really need to start measuring them, but I mean, unless I'm keeping them, I don't usually worry about it. I kind of just guess because I mean, I, 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 it's easier to guess. I mean, I know about the size of them when I look at them. There he is. <laughs> this one's definitely not big. It's fun though, man. I, I enjoy this thoroughly, whether I'm catching big ones or not. You can't beat this, that's for sure. But this guy is super duper small. Little bitty fella. Don't make me have to get the pliers, dude. There we go. Well, look at that little bitty fella. Come on in, fella. All right. That I believe is what I'm going to end this note on for the fishing.
That's a beautiful fish. You know what? I'm gonna try to catch one more. One more fish. Cause I just missed a nice one a minute ago. And it's kind of aggravating me that I missed it. Let's see if we can't do one more. I don't think I'm gonna make another pass, but let's see here. There he is. Man, it's hard to leave when they're acting like this, even if they're small ones. Yeah, that fish I missed a minute ago is definitely a nicer one compared to what I'm feeling right now. I had to do it, guys. I had to catch another one. I think I'm gonna try to catch another one too. <laughs> uh, I don't like missing big fish. That's a nice, nah, he's not that big. Let me take that back. He's not that big. <laughs> Fun to catch though, man. Can't argue with that. Guys, that was officially the end of the video. I was just gonna show you a quick look at what I was using again. That is the uh, two and three fourths Yozuri uh, suspend bait. It will be in the uh, 500 subscriber giveaway. And so all I did here, guys, I couldn't get bites on soft plastics. I don't have any heavy sinking twitch baits. So all I did was put a couple pinch weights and that really got it to drop down to the bottom. And y'all can make fun of me all you want to if you're like, oh, look at it. But hey, y'all watched me catch fish, didn't you? <laughs> but yeah, guys, it actually really worked very well because that lure only dies about three or four feet probably. And I mean, I don't want to work it fast anyways. I wanted to work it on the bottom. The water I talked to a guy was right at 53 degrees. He had a depth finder on his kayak. And so, I mean, the fish are starting to shut down but honestly, they're not really packed super tight. The water is still warming up enough in the evening where it's getting almost back in the 60s. So the fish are still kind of spread out and it's made the bite really weird. Y'all see me go from beginning of the fall catching monster giant gator trout back to it's just been in between and I really just don't think it's gotten cold enough. I'm really waiting for is when the water starts dropping down into 40 degrees. When that water starts dropping down to 40, 40 degree water, you can bet your uh, you can bet your butt that uh, those fish are really going to be stacked in some deep holes up in some creeks. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and it's your boy, Fish Catcher Jacoby.